Mary Surratt was arrested because of her uh, guilt by association, uh, much like the McCarthy era of the 1950s. I have no doubt that she was innocent. Mary Surratt ends up being the first woman ever executed by the federal government. Well, if it were not for John Wilkes Booth, we would never have heard of Mary Surratt. There were five counties of Southern Maryland, and one of those was Prince George's County, where Mary Surratt had been born and raised, and where she lived almost all of her life. And that was one of the places that had such a blistering hatred for Abraham Lincoln. Prince George's County was one of the largest enslaved counties in all of Maryland. Much of the uh, economics of Maryland was built around tobacco, and tobacco was something that bore the, bore the brunt of slavery, which is to say that slaves were much of what it took to get tobacco. Conspiracies have an inner conspiracy element of hardcore, and then they have a fringe around them. And when you go off on your own to carry out something in desperation, such as what Booth did at Ford's Theater, it would seem to me that you're not going to have people like Mary Surratt involved in that type of conspiracy. What was the bond that brought your son and John Wilkes Booth together? I don't know. Has not the question occurred to you since the murder? Uh, yes, sir, but I could not account for it. And I think no one could be more surprised than we were that he should be guilty of such an act. Now, in the courtyard of the execution area of the penitentiary, only 150 to 200 people could fit in. And to prove that you were somebody important in Washington political or social society, you had a ticket to go to the execution. Pointing out what happened at the trial, that it is an American tragedy. And um, I feel that should never have happened. They took an innocent woman and killed her.